Okay, I want to show you what I... Okay, I think it's clear. All right, here we go. What I want to do is do a uh, ninja overnight up here somewhere I've never done one before. And as you can see, it's really close to the railroad and somewhere I'm not supposed to be. Uh, so I searched out throughout the day and I found this perfect location. Let's take a look at it, shall we? And I'll show you how I set the shelter up. Uh, first thing I did, is I rammed this tent stake in the uh, side of the cliff and I went ahead and put these uh, clips on there and tied off a like a ridge line. Now one thing you did not see me do and I had to do it really quick because I was exposed I came out here and I looked at the top of the shelter and I noticed that it was uh, kind of glossy and it didn't have that 3d look like uh, like the regular canopy does as you can see the trees so I took all the foliage it was underneath the shelter area, cut it, threw it up on top of the, uh, this is the 8x10 Wally tarp, and it gave it that 3D look and helped add a lot more camo to it. So I got a, a shooting stick right here, it's 550, and I went in between these two rocks there and put that in the ground, and of course I tied off to this tree. Let's go over here and take a look. And. I think this is going to be perfect for an overnight. I mean, all I'm going to have to do is come up here and just clean out some of these rocks, throw down a blue tarp, thermal rest, and I have the perfect spot. Uh, let's go out here. Uh oh, airplane. <laughs> uh, on this side, this is the side of the you know, kind of like ridge line I made. I went ahead and found this rock, tied it off another one of these clips a while back Billy Jay goes why do you carry all those clips and that's why right there and we can see the top of the tarp I use the clips all the way across and I got quite a bit of camo on there and this is the way in and over here another shooting stick tied it off to that tree over there tied it to that tree there now if it rains Man, I really thought about this because it's been raining here a lot. If you notice how the cliff is set up, there's no debris on the top. It's going to fall down. None of this rock formation is going to come out because that's limestone right there. I checked and all the stress cracks, make sure nothing was separated. In fact, you can see the dynamite holes right there from when the railroad blasted that out. So the rain's going to come down and hit the tarp, and I'll put a low spot here, and it'll just drip right on down the side of the cliff. And if it does come on the inside, I figured it'll run down this wall. See this channel right there? Run down it, run down the channel, come down, you can see where it's wet right there, and it'll go on down and off the side of that cliff. Oh. Okay, there's been a look at my project. Uh, real time. It took me about an hour to put together. Of course, I was dodging people in the process, kind of keeping a low profile. Uh, and yeah, I searched all day to find the perfect spot, and this is it. There you go, friends. <laughs> uh, tell me what you guys think. Put it down in the comment section. And like always, thanks for watching.